Learn the wisdom of silence. There is extremely powerful and amazing wisdom in your practicing of being and becoming a more silent person. Welcome to the SCG Show. This video is officially sponsored by BetterHelp. Start your healing now in the description below. The wisdom of silence is a concept that emphasizes the importance of thoughtful, purposeful silence in various aspects of life. Silence, in my opinion, can include the following. Giving yourself and others space. Becoming isolated from others intentionally. Going and remaining no contact. Not engaging in useless drama and conflict. Remaining more stoic and calmer and peaceful. I've been guilty of the opposite. When I become stressed, overwhelmed or sensitive by a situation caused by another person, my heart would race with anxiety. My mind would race with stress. I'd pace around and imagine situations in my head. And yet all it took was one word, one situation for me to lose control and then maybe engage in the noise and the racket thrown in my direction. In the past, I dated a very toxic, difficult woman. I tried having a peaceful, healthy relationship with her, but it wasn't going to happen. With that, being silent and applying the wisdom of silence was impossible. It was like dating an annoying brat who kept prodding me with a stick. I could sit there, be silent, calm, try and collect my thoughts and try and properly respond. And there would be that stick poking, poking, prodding and poking. In the situation and scenario of my personal toxic relationship, the silence was for me to actually walk away, stay away, go and remain no contact. The wisdom there was ultimately, even though it may seem obvious on the outside looking in, was that I was with the wrong person. I had to leave. It was never going to work out. It was never going to be peaceful. Here are some more detailed aspects of the sheer important wisdom of silence. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss any of my videos. Silence provides an opportunity for your self-reflection and real introspection. Many great insights and enormous breakthroughs have occurred during moments of quiet contemplation. I'll give you an amazing and recent example of this. I recently went out for dinner with a friend. It wasn't pleasant. They acted rude, obnoxiously, they were loud and inappropriate. The thing that triggered me the most is when they spoke about my brand, The SCG Show. They questioned my passion for my work, my plan for my business. I tried explaining myself, but it never really sunk in. As I drove back home after that dreadful evening, I was annoyed, frustrated and very upset. But why was I triggered? Why did I let a drunken idiot get to me so badly? I came home, sat on my sofa, poured a glass of wine and sat in silence, in quiet contemplation and self-reflection. In my silence and solitude, it hit me. It made me realize what had upset me so much. He doesn't understand the work I do what I'm building right now. It's going to take time and patience. I love what I do. I must work even harder. Since that fateful evening, I've improved my website. I like to think I've improved my channel and videos. I've launched a groundbreaking new course that'll change people's lives. I'm working on other courses. I've launched an online store and I've had more views on my website and channel than ever before. And I've never been or felt more motivated to work on the SCG show than ever before. Had I not gone silent, had I had a confrontation instead and engaged in the noise and doubted myself, where would have that gotten me? What would have happened to the success and results I'm seeing right now? It would never have happened. That's why there is wisdom in silence. There is self-reflection, contemplation, and with enough persistence, the answers that you desperately seek. If you're getting value from this video, please smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and survive walking away with my brand new course. Download it now in the description below.
Waiting in silence, whether for a response, solution, an opportunity, can cultivate patience, a very valuable virtue. In my younger days, I was so impatient. I wanted success, problems resolved, answers, solutions, right in the moment. It would drive my friends, family, and others crazy, as I just wanted things sorted there and then, and it was all driven through fear, attachment issues, anxiety, and impatient. I will never forget my late father once coming with me to help me for a project I was working on in my other business. We had a big situation. It was out of control, untenable, very difficult. He came with me to monitor the situation. He quietly and confidently observed everything, asked the occasional question and made notes. Then he came back home and I did too. There I was a bag of nerves, stressed, anxious, worried about what was going to happen. He politely and calmly asked me to give him space and to be patient. The answer will come to me alone and in silence, he said. No word of a lie, my dad sat there thinking in silence for hours and he figured everything out. He wrote it down on a piece of paper and executed it in weeks with me. He saved me and fixed everything. And he did so in a short amount of time. That's how special he was. And that's why I miss him so dearly. But the lesson here is silence in his wisdom can and will cultivate patience. It makes us stop and think. And trust within ourselves, maybe other people and situations and life that they can be and will be resolved accordingly when it comes to problems. Rather than impatiently, rashly and on the spot. There is immense personal growth and wisdom in cultivating patience. Thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I've personally used BetterHelp and found it to be so effective for turning my life around for the better. BetterHelp is therapy online, which offers weekly sessions via phone, video and live chat. You get matched with a therapist according to where you are, what you're looking for and what you need help with. If it's not a great fit, you can switch therapists easily. Therapy is a great way to take care of ourselves mentally, just like we try to do so physically through diet and exercise. Online therapy can teach you valuable life coping skills and support you amazingly when tough times occur. Click the link below or visit betterhelp.com forward slash SCG show for 10% off your first month of online therapy today. Start your healing now with BetterHelp. The link is in the description below. Silence is a form of non-verbal communication that can convey emotions, intentions and messages effectively. A few years back, my father tragically died and it was and still remains a shock to everyone who knew and loved him. Around the time of his passing, some abhorrent, rude and toxic family members really showed their true colours and intentions. They acted disgustingly, treated me and the family awfully and were so disrespectful. I was so angry due to my grief. I was so frustrated. I was so embarrassed that I wanted to confront them. I wanted to give them a piece of my mind. I wanted to show and tell them how much they'd hurt me. Instead, I said nothing and I refused to engage, refused to respond. I initially went no contact. I ignored any advances of communication. I went and remained no contact. And then I distanced myself physically from any events, functions or even venues they would frequently be at. Then eventually, slowly and surely, these people got the message through gifting them my absence. I made the difficult decision I no longer wish to associate with them in my life there and then. And it was the right, healthy, choice in hindsight. I never said a word to them. I never made any grand gesture. I didn't do a big song or dance. I didn't have a conflict or an argument. I never shouted, raised my voice. I never swore. I obviously never physically did anything to them. All I did was go and remain silent. I kept my distance. I walked away and the rest is history. I've eliminated the most nasty, toxic, family members for my life and my future forever. 
that nonverbal communication is the wisdom of silence. Guys, please share your thoughts. Feel free to share your experiences and opinions in the comments section below. Silence can be soothing and comforting in times of pain, grief, sadness, or stress. I used to always have to be around people, speaking to people. I could never be alone with my thoughts or in my own space a few years ago. But when my father tragically passed, it just so happened to be during the lockdowns when I was isolating alone. So I had no choice. I had no other option. I had to face his death alone in silence and go through the motions which was and will always be extremely challenging grief especially alone is like walking through a dark tunnel it can be scary daunting very horrifying but like all tunnels there is a light at the end of it sure it might not be so bright or enticing but it's still a light and you walk through silently to get to that light and there's a sense of relief as you pull through to the other side. I find silence sometimes in distressing times to be very comforting and soothing. If I sit alone on my sofa in silence, I can somewhat relax. I can try and collect my thoughts. I can change my perspective. I can also find answers to difficult questions. There is such immense power and wisdom knowing that actually silence can be and will be if done correctly soothing and comforting <laughs>